my brother and I decided to upgrade our Ultra VP version 4. We already upgraded the back DMD display and now we're going to upgrade the 1080p screen. We're going to upgrade it to an OLED 120 hertz with the model number now being shown. The first thing we did was remove the monitor. It was attached by a black hinge using these four holes. Everything will be built off of the black hinge. For strength, we want to be as close to the wall as possible. This black is the closest that we can get to the wall. The black metal hinge was sticking out further than the block, so we took a hacksaw and made it flush. At the hardware store, we bought an aluminum angle bar, one eighth by one and one quarter. This is the finished frame attached. In the corners, we decided to go with a rivet gun. However, it is not necessary and nuts and bolts work just fine. As you can see here, we use nuts and bolts at the hinge point, making the frame removable. Using an oscillating multi-function saw, we cut into the wood so that the aluminum angle bar would be seated flush. We can lift it up and down and everything is perfect. We also bought a wider aluminum flat bar for the cross beams which we will attach to the vista mount of the TV. Measure from the bottom of the TV to the first hole, then measure between both holes, then drill accordingly. With two people, place the monitor in the machine. Make final adjustments. Look on the left hand side at the bottom of the TV so that the push button is not hitting the frame of the machine. Look up by the flashers and make sure everything is nice and flush. Now, from the back of the machine, you can see how everything is resting. Take a marker and mark where the cross beam is resting on the angle bar. This is very critical. Be neat. Remove the monitor and remove the aluminum flat bar from the vista mount. Carefully place it on the frame exactly as it was. Do not twirl it like a baton. Carefully looking at your bottom markings, transfer it to the top markings and also drill a hole in the center. Whoop! Look here, our first problem. There won't be enough room for the nut. We'll have to cut part of this wood out. There, that's better. We'll do it to the other side also. Oh, and look. The arm that holds the monitor up is totally in the way. We'll have to remove it completely. Using this type of bolt, we can now see how it will be seated. The head of the bolt was raised slightly, so we took it off, placed it between wooden blocks, and hammered it into the metal. Earlier, I did notice that the monitor was sagging a little bit in the upper right hand corner. So we're going to add these two bolts to make it more even. This is how it will sit. We're almost done. Now with the bolts facing the correct way, we can mount the Vista screws into the TV. Now we can rest the monitor in the machine and guide the bolts through the hole. Then carefully tilt up the monitor and add the nuts. There, we did it and it's perfect. 